Hi guys, how's it going? Chris back here again with some more MPG Historic Brawl. Today we're checking out a new Dominaria United Commander, Urk Spawn of Turk. Um, he's a Lands Matters Commander, which in, in Golgari there are a lot of Lands Matter Commanders. So you have to do something pretty unique to actually be considered for the command spot in this in this color combination for this archetype and uh, Turg is not exactly not exactly powerful enough I think to be like the the ace in the whole commander like the benefit that he has over um, Over uh, the two other options, which the main two options are Get Rog Monster, uh, is that he is cheaper and he's less threatening. So both the Get Rog Monsters are kind of threatening commanders, so they tend to get killed on sight. Whereas Erg doesn't seem as threatening, so he might be able to like live on the battlefield a little bit more. He's also a frog, which is a Semi relevant creature type for other decks, although he's not in the right color combinations to make that work. Uh, he's also got like a, a Uncle Old Rusting ability. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'm actually going to tear asunder. Uh, the Incubation Druid. But the Incubation Druid is currently adding 3 mana. And our opponent is apparently stuck on 2 lands. So I'd rather not see that on the board. Is this, uh, no. Uh, no to the attack too. We'll just end our turn. Next turn we can... Uh, well, we probably should play something bigger before we go for... Uh, Traverse the Outlands. Traverse the Outlands is one of those uh, alchemy cards that I saw and thought was going to be really, really powerful, but it just, uh, I have not seen it do much in the games I've played with it, right? Like, I think we've seen it once on the channel, and it was pretty crazy in that circumstance, but um, it's not always that crazy, right? So this is the kicker deck. Kicker decks tend to need a lot of mana. So the fact that they don't have any mana, it's fine by me. Um, is there anything I want out of here? Because I could mutate on to something. I could mutate onto the bug over. Get a permanent back, and we can get. I probably want Journey to Eternity if I'm being honest, because I can get the two. Well, I can get any creature that I need later on. So we're just really trying to set up a good traverse, and then we can go into land sacking shenanigans, that kind of thing. Uncle Resting is helping us mill over some. Although I'm worried that we're letting them catch up. Uh, they're probably going to fight Rusting. The Bone Lord Lurker isn't a good fight. Because they only have four power themselves. They might have like a four mana, well, a four damage burn spell. And that could be bad for us. Plus one, plus one against haste. Okay. They can attack with that. Oh, we're not gonna block, no. Hmm. I 
I could traverse and get four basic lands. Which is really good. But I think I probably just have to uh, finality. Uh, not the most value, but it is some value, right? I'm going to be taking seven here. What I'd like to do is get down the tireless tracker and then traverse, but I don't think we're going to be able to have that kind of luxury. Whoa, we have to block here, don't we? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, we just die. Okay. Yeah. I have played some practice games with this deck. Uh, none of them have gone very well. Uh, and I don't know if that's just... I don't think it's part of the commander. I think it's just Arena trolling me a lot. Because two of my three practice games, I got land screwed. And one of them, I got color screwed. Which... We're playing two colors. We shouldn't really get color screwed. But... For some reason, I only, I only got forest. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this because once upon a time is really, really powerful. And we're going to get some draws before it actually happens. So, Hey, there's a swamp. So we do it next turn, basically. Once upon a time, you want to hold out for as long as you possibly can. I'd like to get Rog Monster, honestly, but I probably just need to get the... Well, we'll get to get Rog Monster. Not max value, but get Rog Monster should be able to get us some lands, right? In theory, that's what it's good for. And I doubt that Burn's going to get rid of a 4-4 four, four or a 6-6. Six, six. So I've got Satoshi the Blazing Sky. Adasushi. So Gitrog does trigger every combat. <laughs> so let's see if they're gonna let me seek out land. No, okay. Well, I will hit you for six. And then I'll play a five four for four. I have a lot of four mana bombs, like, that is something that Gruul is good at, uh, not Gruul, uh, Golgari. Have I been calling it Gruul this whole time? I hope I haven't. Yeah, I put off recording a little bit later into the evening today, uh, because I finally managed to get through the Thriller Bark arc of One Piece, and, uh, like, the ending's good, but it's a bit of a slog to get there was probably my least favorite arc so far. Choose two. Mm. This is all bad. Do you want me to seek a land? <laughs> no, 
that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to mill me. Guess there's only one target opponent, huh? Choose land or non land. Uh, but these options don't match up with that, huh? It's not what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> um, I vaguely recall hearing that Abundant Harvest was bugged, but um, I didn't know it was that bugged. It lets you choose between a permanent or a spell. That's not how that card works. It's just not. We put it in the deck because we wanted lands. There we go. Let's get me get rog. Hey. Well, Erg cannot attack, so Azusa will do all the damage. How have we got him down to 10? Guess Get Rog did a couple of hits, right? Get Rog and then a little bit of damage off of um, the dead boy. Stortiv. Zombie Elk Wizard. You know, back from the back from the card soup days. We're going to make Drake Success very sad that he exists. Yeah, put it in the bed. Uh, goodbye creature, goodbye land, creature, land. Casualty of War is a busted card. Uh, I remember in Standard, it was just fun, but also not fun at the same time. Because it's like, there were board states where it was a pay six, destroy five permanents that you run at controls. And that's always pretty rough, right? Yeah, I'll keep that. So let's traverse. Pay five mana for six lands. Seems fine to me. Hmm. I guess we're going to sack land. Hmm. So we're going to attack in. They have to block our commander here. If they block Azusa, they die. But we have a big man elite anyways. And we actually have a decent graveyard too, so like Witch's Mastery isn't the worst option at the moment. Hmm. We may have a spend uh, a spit fire spit flame. Activation on an Azusa, that's not too bad. Zero damage, okay. Hmm. Now we're dead. Hmm. 
Maybe just build her wrong. I feel like he's not a um, not a commander where you can really go. Six games without a single win, right? Like I played three practice games before this earlier in the day, and it's just we didn't win any of those games either. Hey, there's a bugged abundant harvest again. We have good cantrips now. Do we want to cast that for zero? Get an overgrown tomb. I guess we're going to go to non land. The no Bosch deck. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I'll pay because I want to get down to the Blood Fast. Blood Fast has proven to be a pretty powerful card. Um, but then again, like Greed Effects can be, right? Certainly good with a Dabriel deal on the back of it, but. I got a bug. There's nothing to reanimate yet. These are cool sleeves. Well, now there's something to reanimate. Not enough mana to... Oh, actually, there's enough mana to pay for it. Hmm. Maybe she's just rusting block here. Take the two. That's going to return to hand anyways. But it's actually a really good card with Alicia because you can discard it always to just draw a card. Baba. Do you want to play Baba? I think so. Like, she's big enough to deter some attacks and uh, worst case scenario, we can set up our turn five. Which would be a double turn five by sacrificing land, creature, and enchantment to draw three. But I'd say back in the day, Golgari was my main color combination. A rude. <sighs> well, now there's no reanimation because they can't, they don't have the mana to cycle it. Or channel and attack. Hmm. Five mana. So next turn we're up to six. We can casualties or dreadhorde general. Dreadhorde general is probably going to be the most uh, viable. This is a cool card in theory. Because it's basically a reusable shock, right? I think it can be blocked. That's an issue, but. A 1 mana 2 2. Can be cantrip. Uh, can also provide a damage in the early game. That's. It's not bad. I think we're going to general because general allows us to sacrifice two bugs. The next turn we can erg and then scape ship on the following turn. Ooh, 
We also have artifact enchantment land to sacrifice now. Channel discard. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna win a game, guys. I think we're gonna win a game. Normally, if I build a deck and it doesn't do very well, I generally don't put the deck list in the description. Um, but I probably will for this deck anyways. Because I feel like after a long struggle, it kind of came into its own, you know? Hmm. Erg. Go, go, Rustin. Storath is actually a really good uh, pairing with Rustin. I don't know if I put him in my Rustin deck, but he's actually really decent with Rustin. I wonder if the chances of the Alicia deck are running Wrath. Wrath of God, maybe. Cleansing Nova, probably. If I was building the deck, yeah. I would definitely have Cleansing. Uh, maybe not like the giant one, Cast Off, but uh, there's the ultimatum that I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I think I just get turned back out. So up to eight, so we want and this is a power turg like he's a big beater, that's what he's good for. Now the question is how far do you want to take the joke? Do you want to take it like Yargo levels or do you want to take it like reasonable levels? Reasonable escape shifting for it, right? You get something that gets value off of landfall, you escape shift, you get lands in the bin for Yarg, for Yarg, and you get some triggers off of it too, right? Like that's the, the, the dream, right? If you want to go a little crazier though, Best boy, God Eternal Bantu, uh, is also here to help. Now, I will admit, one of the games I lost is because I uh, got greedy with Bantu and I sacrificed all of my lands. Which, well, not saying I'm not going to do that today. If I had one more creature, this would have worked out perfectly, but sadly I do not. All I have is an erg and a dream. So we have to block this. Getting a giant killer off the board is actually really good for us. 
giant killer is a way to uh, prevent a big beefy attacker from happening every turn. Which is not something we want. Is their opponent mass reanimating again? Or are they looking to see what Alicia can do? Shiki blocks here, zombie blocks here. We draw one. Liliana's loyalty remains unchanged. Well done, the snow is decent. So subpar wrath without a uh, snowlands, but uh, I kind of just forgot to add them. The deck would be better with snow. If I could return you to my hand, I would. Boy, they really don't like our Turg. They don't like their commander either. They've killed it a lot. I guess we're just Liliana Tribal. Don't really need blood on the snow. If a creature is dying, it's because uh, our opponent is killing it. Kind of just need to get card advantage going. So Liliana helps us keep our opponent back. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the forest. I don't need another land. Like in theory, we can do everything this turn, right? We're gonna we're gonna take a lot of damage to do it. But. Step one: artifact creature land is what we want. Artifact creature land. One, two, three, four. Submit. Draw four cards. We got there in the end. We won a game with Turg. And that is all we really could hope for. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.